Hey everybody, it's Kai. We are here, as you can see, in Hampton, the heart of Franklin County, Iowa, because farmers, they've been much in the news of late for a lot of reasons, all of which you probably know. And if you don't, well, hang on a minute, because we'll tell you as we go talk to some people who are working the land in this county and bringing it to market. How's business right now? The last, you know, whatever number yeah. of years. We've been in a downslide in agriculture for about the last seven years. Yeah. Producers, farmers out here, not being able to make ends meet, and they haven't been able to for two or three years. That's pretty grim. It is. It's very grim right now. Some of the things we're looking at now are the, the uh, tariff situation with China, especially. Yep. Uh, that has affected our market. It's probably dropped at least. 50 cents a bushel off of corn and maybe a dollar a bushel off of soybeans. And once you get those, lose those markets like China, you don't get them back very easy. Yeah. So that's a big issue. Tell you what, let's go inside and get a coffee because yes. I'm really cold. Uh, it is cool. The wind it's has a bite cool. to it. Yes. It's been tough with the tariffs. The government has a plan and you're getting some money. Mm -hmm. Is that doing it for you? Are you feeling good about that? Well, you know, Steve doesn't tell me a whole bunch of stuff because, see, he knows if um, I know that it's kind of tight, then I get stressed. So he kind of keeps some things away from me, yeah, but which is a good thing. Absolutely fair. Yeah. But, but big picture, the idea of the government helping farmers for mm -hmm. the trouble that the government got the farmers in. Mm-hmm. Do I think that's fair? You tell me. Yes, I think so. They got us there, so they need to help us. Mm-hmm. As I'm in the combine and you have the radio on and then you hear the markets, you know, and I'm thinking I'm doing all this work as this corn goes in and we're only getting this much, you know, you kind of think, is it worth it, you know? So I try not to listen to the radio. No, we gotta listen to the radio. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I will. I'm for this just one. <laughs> saying. That's food on my kitchen table. Yeah. Hi, Rizdal. See, I've done my research on How are all you? Of well, nice you. to see Come you. On. Nice to meet you. So, tell me what I'm looking at here. Do I have to put my phone on the brake or anything? No. No, Are you sure? It's a hydrostat. What does hydrostat mean? You're a Navy mean? dude. You should I know that. I am a Navy dude. Yes. We do, <laughs> we do turbine service, engines. Thank you by the way. My <laughs> Were pleasure. you on a boat? or? Yeah, Theodore Roosevelt. Well, okay, so this is yeah. nothing compared to a that big, is, I wasn't big, driving big the boat. boat. <laughs> I wasn't driving the boat. <laughs> okay. Okay, let go of the steering wheel. Now, push two. Okay, don't touch anything. I'm not touching anything. Okay, it's driving itself. Wow. Now. So if this breaks down, you're out of business. Yes, I am. And, and can you fix it or do you have I can people? fix some things, but usually they tell me not to touch it. Yeah, right. So, <laughs> no, I hear you. Well, I, I used to be able to fix everything on the old stuff, but anymore, yeah. you yeah. have to plug a computer into it. Yeah, for sure. And it tells you. So it's sending me codes. A couple hundred thousand dollars. For a used one, new ones are half a million. So I, I don't want to get too grand here, but is the farm economy as we know it today sustainable? Oh, that's a really deep, thoughtful question. It is for me in my lifetime, in my farming, you know, because it is what I know. But technology is going to change everything, I believe. You know, it's just like industries adapt to new technology. Farming will adapt to, and we're early adapters. You, you just got to drive that combine, Jerry. Thank you. Push, just push, one button, push two, and, and it drives right. How about that, huh? That was kind of cool look where we've come so far you know and we'll adapt we'll make it work because you know what at the end of the day people got to eat they don't eat cell phones they don't need apple products they have to eat and that's that's kind of the bottom line <laughs>